two of them together and wow. made, peace, you know, made peace, sort of, and then for the next five or six years, they just kind of exchanged dirty books. So we got the campfire, and the this came over the campfire. Um, Joe wouldn't, but Joe was there, then us would come over.
In the waters of baptism, our sister Frances died and rose with Christ. May she now live with him forever. Amen. Let us pray. O God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Francis, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now for the reading of the scriptures. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered, Oh, that my words were written down. Oh, that they were inscribed in a book. Oh, that with an iron pen and with lead they were engraved on a rock forever. For I know that my Redeemer lives and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. And after my skin has been thus destroyed, then in my flesh I shall see God whom I shall see on my side, and my eyes shall behold, and not another. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
a reading from the book of Revelation. And I, John, heard a voice from heaven saying, Write this, blessed are the dead who from now on die in the Lord. Yes, says the Spirit, they will rest from their labors, for their deeds follow them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The Gospel of the Lord. Be seated for a few moments. In the gospel that we just listened to, we read, In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. These words are captured in the gospel to encourage us who struggle to live according to the will of God. The words of the Lord also remind us of God's mercy and how the Son of God has come to bring us to the Father. I will come again and will take you to myself so that where I am, there you may be also. We often think of heaven or of the afterlife as being a place. Artists in the past have placed heaven beyond the clouds. We can now see way beyond the stars, and so perhaps this imagery might not suffice us. Some religions speak of the afterlife as a state of being, a nirvana, that does not fit completely with our Catholic teaching. Perhaps instead of speaking of a house with many rooms, we can speak of a home, a home. Home is not just a place, but it is being with those whom we love. In the latter part of the gospel today, it seems that this is the emphasis. Heaven, the afterlife, is about Jesus Christ, who is the way, the truth, and the life. So the afterlife is being completely in the presence of the Lord, and with those that have gone before us. If we allow the Lord into our, our presence in this life, if we allow him to guide us, to show us the truth, and to initiate us into his life, then we will go home to him in 
the next life. Now, Francis has been away from the parish for quite a few years and living in a nursing home and so on, a distance from here. Uh, but those who have been around much longer than myself um, uh, have told me that she was a faithful parishioner attending Mass with her husband and participating in other activities such as the Catholic Women's League. They told me that she was a little lady and that she was very gentle and admirable in the way that she practiced her faith. For me, this is a sign that she allowed the Lord into her life and that now the Lord will receive her into his presence where she will be with her loved ones that have gone before her. All of this is a sign that Francis has gone home to the Lord. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church, confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus. We join our prayers to his. In baptism, Francis received the light of Christ. Scatter the darkness now and lead her over the waters of death. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Our sister Frances was nourished at the table of the Savior. Welcome her into the halls of the heavenly banquet. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Many friends and members of our families have gone before us and await the kingdom Grant them an everlasting home with your Son. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Many people die by violence, war, and famine each day. Show your mercy to those who suffer unjustly, these signs against your love, and gather them to the eternal kingdom of peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Those who trust in the Lord now sleep in the Lord. Give refreshment, rest, and peace to all whose faith is known to you alone. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The family and friends of Francis seek comfort and consolation. Heal their pain and dispel the darkness and doubt that come from grief. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We are assembled here in faith and confidence to pray for our sister Frances, strengthen our hope so that we may, in the expectation of your son's coming, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, giver of peace and healer of souls, hear the prayers of the Redeemer Jesus Christ and the voices of your people whose lives were purchased by the blood of the Lamb. Forgive the sins of all who sleep in Christ and grant them a place in the kingdom. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated now as we continue the celebration of the Eucharist where we offer bread and wine that will become the body and blood of Christ.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that this, our sacrifice, may become pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Francis, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, and those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Michael, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. 
and give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on our faith, the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Amen. If you are Catholic, you're welcome to come forward and receive communion. If you're not, and you want to come forward and just receive a blessing, just cross your your hands across your chest. Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Francis may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever.